Hey everyone, today I wanted to show you a cheap way and a cheap type of paper you can use for practicing. It's called craft paper. And it literally is cheap, junky, kind of recycled, coarse, brown paper bag kind of paper. Listen to it crinkle, you hear that? Some serious crinklage. Um, so obviously it is cheap. But look, this is a great way if you're just um, doing a bunch of practicing, you know, there's a ton of pages in here, it's really cheap, and you don't have to waste your good paper uh, on practicing techniques and trying to replicate what I'm doing in my crazy videos. So um, this is craft paper. I'm going to show you a quick demo using it, and uh, you should definitely have this in your paper arsenal. Let's take a look. All right, so for today's demo on craft paper, since it's already like a medium tone, um, I think it actually helps you produce a more rich looking picker, picture uh, faster because it's already starting at a mid-tone. So I'm just going to sketch something out here just as an example. Um, just to show you a little bit of how we might do um, how we might do some color color work on here. I don't know what kind of car this is. A lot of you have asked me um, to draw specific cars. I got to tell you, apart from the 1964 Chevrolet Impala Lowrider, I never <laughs> draw any other cars that exist. I don't know why. I just, um, I don't know, I just like to make up cars. So that's why it's just not something I, I normally do. So, um, so I don't know what kind of car this is. Who cares? We're, we're just going to use it as a as a demo on you know whatever it is that we're doing here so so let's just pretend that this is some kind of fast looking car I want to focus on this section um, right here what kind of rims should we give this uh, I don't know maybe this is how I draw rims by the way I don't know if this is right or not but you know it's like spokes here spokes here and then I'm, I'm kind, of, kind of doing uh, straight lines Ooh, someone's calling my house can you hear that okay all right so there's a little bit of a uh, rooms but here's all of the colors if we're doing a blue car here's all the colors that um, I'm planning on doing so I've got some blues um, man they are really calling my house would you hold on one second while I turn this phone off okay I've turned the phone off all right so here's all the different colors if we're doing a blue car definitely got some richer blues a kind of a you know moderate sky blue off blue and then a couple warm grays which are almost like or I'm sorry cool grays cool grays are almost like blue because they're grays that have more blue in them uh, warm grays are grays that have more brown in them they're like um, for ground kind of stuff then I've got some pencils that will that will do at the end but so what I want to do first is probably take my richest blue because if I want this to be a really dramatic car I'm gonna go ahead in um, and outline some of the car this wheel is slightly turned out so it's a now this is a line and then that's probably a line up here like that but when I get to rendering you know if you've always seen the way that um, wheel wells that they bulge out a little bit there is definitely kind of a, a little swell there so I'm gonna go ahead in with my blue marker and really amplify that like that These uh, Prismacolor markers are kind of like your standard, standard go-to. This is a headlight, by the way. Standard uh, go-to markers for car design. They're reliable. They last a long time. They're good quality. You can buy more expensive ones, but unless you work for Porsche and they're going to pay for them, you probably just use these. All right. So now I'm going in with a uh, with another color blue. It's a little more, a little less vibrant, but um, let me go ahead in here and fill out a bunch of this right so this is um, like some air intake stuff this will be black and I'm gonna add some uh, you know intake ports at the end so I'm gonna make all this blue be gradated a little bit but then just keep adding layers so you can see for craft paper it holds the marker sort of uniquely it's kind of weird um, Coloring. I'm going to go in and uh, grab some of this cool gray right here and uh, just add it to the bottom. It's going to darken it up, but also blend it a little bit more. All right. 
Now in here you can see there's a curve, so there's going to be some you know additional sunlight uh, that's going to be caught right in this area. So for this one, this is an overhang, so this is going to be um, gradating down and back, but not too much. I mean, it's still going to be part of the car that's mostly hidden. In here, it's going to be black because. Uh, Oh man, a black mark. I got markers dying all over the place. All right, let's try this one. This is going to be black in here. Usually, when I'm when I'm doing um, you know a quick marker sketch like this, I'll usually wait till the end to do all the black because um, then what I'll do is go down and um, do the bottom side of the car like this. Probably add some shadows in there. This is our um, tire, by the way, so I can go ahead and outline that right now if you haven't seen my other videos on tires and wheels I realize this is one of the most difficult parts to do um, I'm gonna add a little curve there so this wheels obviously turning out a little bit I'm gonna bring it around under here like that some kind of supercar so clearly it is a very large thin tire so we'll get back to that we'll get back to that later uh, for the rest of the car so here's just a quick you know thing on headlights if you're doing headlights don't overdo them right so if this is a I know everybody's doing LED kind of stuff now but if this is your you know headlight I might put a couple like headlight type indicators but really for the most part it's going to be it's going to be white or it's going to be done with some of our special effect kind of stuff. Now I might pop a little cool gray in here and at first you're going to be like what like what is that doesn't look like a headlight it just looks ugly we'll indicate it some turning turning signals and then what we'll actually do is we can go ahead no one really does this anymore because everything's LED now but if we wanted to add like a orange you know turn signal I'll, I'll do it orange, but then I'll go back and I'll put some cool gray into it like that. Now here's the really cool part. When we're done, I'm just going to jump to it now because this is this is fun. This is where your white pencil comes in, you know. And your white pencil is where you're going to start to really bring out that this is that this is a headlight. So I like to kind of blend it like that, and now you can see you can do some little little marks like this. The thing to do is go out like in a parking lot in the middle of the day or you know in the morning or afternoon or something and just look for different ways that the sunlight um, interacts with the headlights because it is really weird to draw. I have a video just on how to draw headlights which is probably way overkill but um, there's a little example that you know don't overdo it. Most of it is going to be kind of like white shiny and then with indications of, of black and a little bit of orange. Uh, when you're all done that part you can definitely go back and uh, you know, outline some of it with your black marker. And clearly I need to throw this in the trash. I'm gonna use a Sharpie. I know this isn't like professional grade artist quality here, but for today's video, I may wanna outline it Sharpie and maybe just a couple more of those kinds of things. All right, so back to our color. All right, so we're still working on our color over here. You're gonna fiddle with this and draw over it like about a million times. Um, I like to go back with different color markers and add some depth. And these are, you know, gonna indicate different textures and reflections and things the car's picking up. Now usually chalk and craft paper, maybe not the best combination. We're just gonna skip it today and try some different things and see what we get. This is a, um, this is a little too cool. I don't think I want to use that, but I'm looking for um, let me take a look and see if I can find it. Here's a real light blue. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure if this is the right blue or not. I may just go right to uh, colored pencil. Use some of my colored pencils on it. So the, the cool part is, you know, you're laying down a lot of color pretty fast. This part here is the uh, is the bulge I was talking about. And then, now here's the really fun part. You can go back 
with your pencil and a lot of the things that are in the uh, reflections you can pull out with your pencils so this is why I like to use a variety of different um, blues within a blue picture and then when you're all done you know going back with your white and you could even indicate a couple more you know things going on there also if you have um, like an intake where you know there's a uh, like vents you can always go back with your white marker and sort of indicate that there's a, a vent or a port there it's kind of fun to do um, now bear in mind as you're working on craft paper you're going to continually need to take a look at your crisp lines and probably when you're all done this picture you're going to have to go back and, and work on all your lines uh, outlining them one more time um, unless you're you know just in a rush and you're really focusing on the design and not looking to produce a full color like framed portrait kind of thing for your grandmother's house you can just you can just do this all right so that's a little bit about craft paper and uh, you can see in here there's a lot more to be done um, with light blue or with going in and kind of blending these so so just experiment these are all different tools and media in your arsenal and uh, you know for this picture we've used a sharpie we've used prismas and we've used colored pencils and we've used white pencils and actually there's a whole other step um, using gouache where we're actually going to get our paintbrush and uh, put on a little dabs of highlights onto this so um, I can do it right now let me just um, get some water real quick so I can uh, get this paint by the way this is uh, Windsor Newton designers gouache Ooh, it's really hard to open um, it is like really fancy whiteout but you're going to want to water it down quite a bit so let me grab a little cup and we'll um, we'll water it down and then uh, see what we get I like to dump water in then shake it all out and just have a little teensy bit in there like this and then all I do is put a little smudge of paint well that's not enough just a little teensy bit like that you're really not gonna need much and for this demo it's like way overkill so then I just start blending it until it feels a little more liquidy than white out so if you know what white out consistency is this is um, just a little bit more watery but not much so then when I have that I've got my really tiny paintbrush and uh, I'll go in and add these highlights so this is really the fun part because you know you're getting to do all the fancy highlights um, now you can see the craft paper is absorbing it uh, quite a bit uh, but that's okay you can go back and add a uh, another layer also when you're doing your vents and grates putting a bunch of those dots there it's pretty satisfying so in order to know where to do these dots I have another video completely about uh, highlights using gouache if you can't find any gouache I mean it doesn't have to be Windsor Newton specific brand but this is really good stuff you can just look for any gouache paint I wouldn't recommend using acrylic or whiteout just because they'll crack and uh, turn yellow and get brittle but if you're not looking to have something in a museum sure you can use that stuff just um, be aware that the, the uh, consistency you want to get it sort of like this see so it's not running it's running a little bit but you know there's a main part here which is the right thickness that you're going to want all right so don't overdo it with your white spots but um you can indicate a little bit and you can set, tell you know it turns out it has that shiny kind of look so that's a quick demo on craft paper hope you enjoyed it and uh let me know what other questions you have later